Someone recently asked me, what do you have to say about your husband as a candidate for the general board of the Church of God in Christ? What readily came to mind are the many reasons I love him as my husband, pastor, and leader. I love Bishop Patrick Wooden Sr. for the amazing husband, father, and grandfather he has been over the 43 years of our marriage and for the outstanding son he was to his mother. His commitment and devotion to our family has been nothing short of amazing. I love and respect that he is a valiant man of God who boldly stands for holiness and God's truth. For him, holiness is what he has consistently lived and proclaimed down through the years. I love his passion and willingness to speak up regarding the critical issues of our time. And although he is sometimes misunderstood, he is always motivated by his love for God and his love for people. Bishop Patrick Wooden is a truly saved, sanctified preacher, a principled man with strong convictions, keen insight, and a biblical worldview that governs his life and decisions. I love him because he's a great provider. I also love his wit and humor, his charm, and I must say, he has charisma. I love my husband's strength and masculinity. He can be as tough as steel and yet smooth as velvet. It is often said of him that he is a man's man, and that is true. But may I tell you, he is also a woman's man. Bishop Wooden is an advocate for women and believes firmly in our call to do ministry. I love his wisdom business acumen, and common sense. One of the things that has attributed to his success in life and ministry has been his sound judgment and ability to make the right decisions when it mattered most. His decisions have moved us forward and positioned us to be the multi-million dollar debt-free ministry we are today. But I must say, what I love and appreciate most about my husband has been his ability to lead and hold our family and the ministry together during the most difficult times. He has the uncanny ability to take a blow face life's challenges, and bounce back stronger than before. Dr. Martin Luther King once said, the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. My husband has weathered the storms of life, and he has stood his test of time. He has never walked out in times of adversity. He does not shy away from a challenge, and he is not a man who is intimidated by controversy. And I declare unto you that if elected to the general board, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. will stand in the gap and represent you with honor courage, and to the glory of God, the Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you for listening, and may the blessings of the Lord be upon you.